Hey folks, welcome back to our next Let's Play of Tacoma. Woo! We are at a Jello Alert level zero. And of course it goes to alert level zero. This is actually pretty fantastic. I forgot we she kind of laid here sad and she probably knew or at least was following the guy that died in the space accident. Because I'm assuming that's what it was. Now let's go over here and check our our how far we've gotten. Uh, let's see how I've noticed, I believe this is like a four hour or so game, from what I've been told. And I think we're almost halfway through. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Let's rewind it. Oh, wait, no, I was here. I've been here. Never mind. Let's go check. I think we might be done with this section here. What is this? Oh, no, no. Leave that open. I like that view. I, nope, open. I like the view. I like the view. It's kind of cool. I could kind of just watch it for a long time. All right, how much are we at? 51, 50.1, 50.2. Excellent. So let's go over this way then. We're going to go over to the other half. Um, no, nothing out, nothing through. Let's do it. All right. Ooh, we got places to go and things to see, guys. All right, let's record it. All right, what do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success, then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I I'll, can't um, everybody went along with this. I'll head Hard. downstairs and get started on. Oh my Something. god. Okay. So now we actually have to build hey, this. Hey, Andrew. Thing. Clive. Hey. Andrew. Want to yeah. talk? Sure, Evie. Evie. Are, are you okay? Evie. Hey, Evie. Hey. Um, I know you're all like gung ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. In more ways than one. I didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could VT's not fucking coming, Clive! VT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars? And cents, Clyde. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie, I don't want to be realistic with you. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. That is so cute. Well, time to go make final preparations then. <laughs> but not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together, like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. 
I mean, isn't it strange? We've... We've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. One day. Oh. Oh, Evie. Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. Was that it? Oh, I think that was it for that one. So I have to go back. We didn't see what she had recorded, so we're going to have to... Wait and see. Hello? Oh, Andrew. All right. Let's rewind this bad boy all the way back here, because we're going to have to see... This is such an interesting technique of doing things. Great. Let's go back because we saw her working on something when we first right. got here, didn't we? What do you say, folks? No. Maybe. We non-essential. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now we actually. Here we go. Urgent. All hands meeting right now. See subject. I'm in botany already. Get here. All right, message with Sarah Hasmati. Standard practice is you don't use cryo for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I asked. Right, sorry. 72 hours without serious risk of brain damage? Past that, you're really pushing it. How much oxygen? I mean, hardly any at all. Wait, where are you going with this? Message with Natalia again. Uh-oh. But Bert says she could do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep and... And I need to write up a serious layer of interpreter code for us to pilot from the inside, but it's going to be tight. And if you had more than 48 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Okay, okay, hold on, checking something. Oh, I see, and then that's where she checked there. What if we aren't sending it down to get supplies? What if we're sending ourselves down? In the delivery drone? Yes, with some modifications, the bigger issue would be the lack of life support. Salvage from around Tacoma, we could rig up oxygen pressure, climb it, drone down to Luna, and get up, get home from there. If we're not confident in VT making it up here before the O2 runs out, and we can't call for pickup, getting down to Luna is our only real hope. Okay, sit tight. Good idea. Thanks, Bert. Good idea, Bert. Hey, Andrew. Clive. Andrew. We'll All right. Talk? Sure. So we're going to... Okay. Evie. Hey. All right. Let's watch this. We're going to watch Great. them. I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. And I didn't sorry. expect them to either. Oh my god. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Okay. Evie! Uh, it... Ladies, I... I see what they mean by fast forwarding and rewinding so much. Alright, let's follow them. More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshops! Is that it? Oh, I suspect when they leave here, that's it. So, and that's where we saw them doing their thing. Okay, let's make sure they don't come back. No. Oh! So I have to go find our medic, the doctor to see where that is. That makes more sense. Now we're learning more and more. All right, let's wait for everybody to get back up here. All right, so. Success, then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Great. I I'll, um, along with this. I'll head downstairs and get started on something. Oh okay. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Hey, are, are you okay? Evie! Hey! No, nope, I'm not. Okay. Oh, damn you! There we go. Let's rewind that bad boy. What do you want to talk about? I can't do it. Uh, I can't. I can't. I... This 
is all crazy. But you said... I know. Okay, I know what I said. But I... What was I supposed to say? You all... You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some jury-rigged thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. It's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege... Well, some of us do. Andrew, I... I don't know what to say. Bert and Nat need us. They need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm going to be the same one here. You know, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just... Hmm. Give me a little time. Okay, we need to follow her. Because th she's the one that's got this one right here. The next one coming up. Oh. Odin. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. All right, let's look at what she's got on her desk. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, that's kind of a cool thing. That's all it is, just a picture. That's cool. Part it with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. Oh, uh, do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Oh, this is awesome. So now let's go right. back down and finish wrapping this bad boy up. So that'll be... There we go. Let's watch it. Okay. Just... Give me a little time. Come on, man. You got to pull it together. Pull it together. Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this... Can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, all right? Of course. 
All right, let's look at what he's looking at. Oh, failed. Mark Figueroa, just checking in about your renewal. Andrew, I'm not talking about who's paying the bills. I'm talking about Nicholas. See you every four months, and that's not even taking my feelings into account, which I'll just set aside for now. You might not think he's showing up, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you back out of your contract renewal, we'll figure out a way to make it work. You know my parents did well in the currency crash. My dad always says, blah, 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 I just want you home. Rely on your parents' charity is your solution. I'm building equity up here. My loyalty will pay for Nicholas's school, and if I back out of this contract, we'll lose all that, and I am not. Don't appreciate this emotional sabotage when you know. Really getting hard not, not to feel unappreciated. Listen, I'm sorry. I just, connection lost. Message unsent, attempting to resend, attempting to resend. Oh, man. That sucks. Message with Nat. There really is no way of getting a signal out. There must be something you haven't tried yet. No, Andrew. All comms are routed through secured BT laser array, and it's been destroyed, and redundancies were destroyed. Stop messaging me. Oh. Uh, message with EV St. James. So I guess we should just carry on as normal. We don't have much time. We need to make a contingency plan. But VT is supposed to come pick us up, right, within 24 hours. Listen, just increase our auction supply in the short term if worse came to worst. Oh. Looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours anyway. Thanks, Odin. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? All right, looks like we got it. Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. I don't know if there's anything else. We got personnel quarters. Let's go up to personnel quarters. Do we have anything going on up here? Andrew Daggab. Ooh, let's recover this AR data. Come on, buddy. Okay, Odin. Ready? I'm gonna do it this time. All right. P player one, Sarah. Player two, Andrew. Oh, that's kind of funny. Ooh, failed. Um, Orbital News Network. Ventura stock tumbles following the failure of Orbital Worker Safety Bill. Bill would have repealed the Human Oversight Accord opening door to ambitious Venturist Belt project. Space travel and hospitality corporations like Venturist are seeing their profits shrink. Enter the Venturist Belt, a flock of 1,000 automated economy orbital bungalows arrayed around Earth. Full automation of orbital facilities is currently outlawed by the Human Oversight Accord, which requires Venturist over 15 billion SGD in development, manufacturing, and deployment of the bungalows themselves and also an extensive lobbying, largely through sympathetic council member Douglas Chun for repeal of council member Chun stepped down from his seat three months ago, leaving today as OCEP delegates voted against, the, against it 418 to 132, leaving the Human Oversight Accord in place. Ventura Strock dropped to an all-time low following the OCEP vote and continuing public outrage from those who have prepaid for Ventura's Belt timeshare memberships. This has led to speculation that Sergio Ventura's position as CEO may be of directors could not be reached for comment. All right. Off station message with Nicholas Daggab Figaro. Yes, I opened it. And I'm not sure I get it. You need to pass them out to the rest of the crew so they're not blinded by the glare off your damn shiny scalp. Nicholas! Ha ha ha. Happy birthday, Dad. I am incredibly happy with the people who made this game. Fulbright, you guys are awesome. All right, so let's close that out. I don't think there's really anything more. Yeah, it's just video game fire, so there's nothing else. But let's look to see if we can interact with anything more. Ooh, we have cards. Okay. Um, ooh, let's open it up. Let's take a look at the view. Woo! Um, let's see. Homework is more important than fun. Dad, love Nicholas. Oh, that is funny. That is funny. I um, don't need to use a sink. What is that? That's Nina. It's for this music, isn't it? All right, folks. I think. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait. We can move it? 
Oh, that is a new thing that you guys are now bringing on me that I didn't know. No, I, I, it's probably supposed to let me do it. Oh, wait. Oh, there's Sarah. That's what it is. Oh, Sarah is kicking your ass, dude. Kicking your ass. I think that might be it. Let's go check. I don't think there's any other, any other places to go, but let's double check that by looking at the video recorder. All right, 100%, woo! Okay, folks, this is actually perfect time. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wait, hold on, read this off. From Venturis Technology, subcontractor failure, proceed immediately to the engineering module. Once AI data is transferred from all modules, you must also secure and return to AI's physical processing medium. The latter requirement is of the highest priority. Okay, it looks like we're getting close to being done, folks. Um, I'm going to leave you here. I will see you next time. And until then, take care.